And that's the other thing I see is people using these cheap, crappy mm -hmm. uh, crimpers and stuff. Just spend the money and buy some decent yeah. tools. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt. And I'm uh, Nigel Kohler. And uh, today we got a question from somebody who was wondering uh, whether he could use the crimp type terminals from his uh, local auto parts store because they're way cheaper than the ones from the Marine Chandler. So um, he was wondering whether he really needs to pay the premium prices for from Marine equipment. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I know it's horrible because uh, they're expensive. Mm -hmm. But most of those terminals that you get in a auto parts store, they're tin plated steel. Mm -hmm. And then the minute you screw down on it, you cut through the tin plating and then you're in a, in a marine environment, a salt atmosphere mm -hmm. and everything rusts. And mm -hmm. then you've got a lousy connection. Um, and then there are actually, and I don't know what the situation is in Europe, but certainly in the States, um, we have the American wire gauge sizing mm -hmm. system, and then we have a separate system in the automotive world, which the is called SAE. the Society of Automotive Engineers, uh, SAE. Mm -hmm. And SAE conductors are actually 10% smaller, but on average, mm -hmm. than the same nominal size AWG conductor. So the likelihood is that those crimp terminals you get from the automotive store are sized for SAE conductors mm -hmm. and not for for uh, AWG conductors, which we're using on our boats. Uh, and then there are, there are other features like uh, almost those automotive ones you'll find on the barrel it's a bit of metal that's just folded over mm -hmm. like this uh, and there's a seam there that's not welded mm -hmm. uh, well when you crimp on it you know they can open up a little bit mm -hmm. you don't necessarily get a very good crimp so uh, we want a welded barrel yeah. uh, and then there's kind of refinements in a, in a good terminal like little serrations inside the barrel so mm -hmm. there's a better grip and mm -hmm. a better connection yeah. uh, so there's a lot of um, small subtle differences between a good quality marine terminal and, a, and many of the cheaper yeah. automotive terminals, which also means you shouldn't be buying your terminals off Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Um, I go to the Marine Chandler, and I know they're outrageously expensive. Um, but it, it's 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 not the the Chandler's but, fault uh, because I sell the stuff, and right. it's uh, my margin oh, is pretty true. small. I right? about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually, right. um, yeah. It, it's just, I mean, you pay for the quality, I would say, yep. and the material. I mean, copper is more expensive than steel, so it kind of makes yep. sense yep. that they're more pricey. And and the connections in our electrical systems are the weak link. Mm -hmm. That's where we get 90% of our problems. So it just doesn't pay to cut corners yeah. uh, when making the connections, yeah. which also means you need decent tools. Mm -hmm. and that's the other thing I see is people using these cheap, crappy mm -hmm. uh, crimpers and stuff. Just spend the money and buy some decent yeah. tools. Exactly. Good or, tools. or ask a friend if you could yeah. borrow his, because if you want to do a rewiring yeah. job or something, definitely invest a bit of money in, in good tools and, and good quality material. Yeah, they're not yeah. expensive. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the day, they'll save you a ton of aggravation. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, actually, if you want to learn how you can make really good connections that are properly sealed and made to resist the harsh environment on boats, uh, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course, because there we have a few lessons, actually, on yeah. how to make good connections and uh, how to properly wire your boat. So check it out and see you soon.